Hello, good afternoon, my YouTube family. Um, today I'm coming at you all with a word from the Lord. Um, so first I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask God, as I get out here and spread your word today, Lord, I ask that you touch my mind, my spirit, and my tongue, Lord. I ask that you put the words out uh, from my mouth, Lord, that you want me to speak, Lord, to spread it across your people, oh God, um, to touch the lives of those that you, that you want me to touch that come into encounterance with this video, oh Lord. I ask that you ban, rebuke, and defeat every demonic force mirroring and monitoring spirit that may try to interfere and come across this video for me getting this word out, oh God. Ban, rebuke, and defeat those spirits, Lord, and remove them from my channel, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that the words that you put in my mouth and in my heart and in my spirit today, that it touches the lives of those that you intend for it to touch, oh God. And Lord, speak through me, Lord. Use me as a vessel, oh God, to do your will, your way, Lord. Use me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Let every demonic force and spirit that would try to come against this word come under your command and to cease all attacks. Cease all attacks, all interferences, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So the word I'm going to get into today that God put on my heart is from the pit to the palace. From the pit to the palace. And I'm going to be reading from the book of Psalm 40, chapter 40, verse 2. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the mire day, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. Today, y'all, we're going to talk about going from the pit to the palace. Those dark moments where we can't see or trace God. Where we don't know what's going to happen next. Where we don't have the certainty of where our life is going. When we're in darkness in the valley. When we're so low that we wonder if God loves us. Do we have a purpose here? Is there still a plan over our lives from the pit to the palace? The lowest moments, the dark moments, when all your money is running out, when your kids acting up, when nothing can't be seen to be going right in your life, when your bills are behind, when your marriage is in shambles, when death hits the family, when sickness is attacking the body, when it's just multiple, multiple attacks at one time, what is too much that you seem like you can't bear it because there's so much on you from the pit to the palace. When your mind is confused in spirit and you keep praying and you're praying and you're fasting and you're asking and you're asking God for vision. You're asking God for his voice. You're asking God to put his hands on your life and touch you and deliver you out the hands of your enemies. Because while you have so many things going on at one time, your enemies are being relentless with their attacks. And it feels like you've been just consumed and overcome. Okay. Dealing with the trauma, the childhood trauma, battling um, demonic forces from the pit to the palace. From the pit to the palace. When God has you sitting still and you feel stuck from the pit to the palace. I'm going to keep saying that. Because even in our darkest moments, when we are at our lowest points and we can't make way and understand of what God is doing in our lives and why things are going the way they are going and why he has us going up this road and not up this road because it's not designed for you to take the road that everybody else has taken. He's taking you on a detour. 
he's taking you on a different way because you're going from the pit to the palace so by the time you come out of darkness when you make it to the top of your of the mountain that he puts you on he's going to get glory for your story from the pit to the palace when he brings you out of that sickness when he brings you um out of darkness when he brings your finances up to par when he heals your marriage and restores your marriage when he moves you into that new house you know um, when he puts you in a new calling in your ministry, okay, when he, you know, removes all the people that hurt you, because God is in a place now where he's isolating, he's removing people, he's shaking things up in your life, and you can't understand what's going on. It's not meant for you to understand what's going on. A change is taking place. A transformation is taking place in your life. And for him to do whatever he needs to do, he got to put you in the pit to bring you to the palace, to bring you up to the palace, okay? He has to put you in the pit to bring you up to the palace. Coming out of that darkness, God is going to do it. You may not understand it now. It may not make sense now. Why are you going through all of these things? The pain. He sees the pain. He sees the tears. He sees everything. He hears every calling. He hears you. He sees you faithfully sowing your tithe. He sees all of that. Okay? For he brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the merry day, and set my feet upon a rock. It's coming a day now. In this day, family, where he's about to set you on high ground. He's about to make your name recognizable in nations. He's about to fulfill a work in you that people never thought that you would do because you was the black sheep of the family, okay? People never thought you would be capable, but God says it's your time. Your time is now to rise out of the pit and step into the palace, okay? This is the day he's going to make your business great. This is the day he's going to make your ministry great. He's going to have you doing exceedingly and abundantly things, touching and blessing the entire earth. I hear nations. He's going to have you helping nations, bringing nations out of captivity. Hallelujah. He's going to have you freeing nations, okay? You had to sit in the pit and take that different road to get to the palace because your calling is different. Your calling is not like everybody else's, okay? Hallelujah. He got you saving nations. He's got you doing works in all different nations from the pit to the palace. That house that you think is raggedy right now. That you, the house that you want, that you envisioned yourself to have, get ready because he's bringing you from the pit to the palace. The job that where you've been overlooked over and over and over again, when you work the hardest and you put the most work in and you go above and beyond for your patients, for your customers, for everything that you do, get ready for your promotion. For your ministry where it's only two or three people sitting and your in in your in the area you know in your chair in your area in the not in, in by the pulpit you know the, the people where they listen to you preach he said get ready you getting ready to have three and four churches at a time not only that you're going to have a youtube channel you're going to have everything where millions of people are going to be streaming in and sowing seeds to listen to you preach okay your finances, you on your last dollar. Get ready to go from rags to riches. God is bringing you out because you've been responsible, okay? You were faithful over few, so he's getting ready to make you a ruler over many, okay? For those marriages that are on the rocks that are going through right now get ready god is about to do an exceedingly abundantly thing and heal that marriage restore that communication restore that um restore that love restore that romance restore that communication understanding and compassionate friendship 
God is about to restore those things, okay? From the pit to the palace. The people that overlooked you, the black, you the black sheep of the family, okay? The people that overlooked you, God is about to set your feet so high on high ground that they won't be able to touch you. And the only way they can get to you is through God. That man that broke your heart, he can't get to you except it be through God. Your children. Your children are about to be... I hear that your children are called into ministry as well with you, alongside you. He's about to have your children telling their stories so they can walk along and walk aside you and help other children. This is a beautiful thing, okay? That book you getting ready to write. That business. Okay, I'm hearing generational wealth. I'm hearing sudden wealth from the pit to the palace, from the jails. I don't know whose case is up, but God is going to vindicate you, and he's going to sway that judge and give you favor with that judge and have your case thrown out. Not guilty. I'm hearing not guilty. You've been not guilty all your life, even though people have been trying to assassinate your character, tear you down, tell lies, spread rumors, gossip, slander your name. God is about to make you look to the whole nation. You're not guilty. The things that they said about you, God is about to make these people into liars, okay? God is about to make these people into liars. God is about to make people honor you okay but make sure when you step on high ground that you give God all the glory and do his will and remain obedient keep praying because one thing about it God gives us vision for the provision provision for the vision and I forgot how it goes but I know it's something to that extent okay I'm hearing not guilty, innocent. I'm hearing victory. Your finances are tied up. You have lawsuits going on. I'm hearing different things here. You're going to win. God is going to bring you out victorious. I'm hearing your children. He's about to touch your children and bring peace over your home, over your life, over your marriage. I'm hearing protected. No weapon formed against you shall prosper from the pit to the palace. He's about to set you on a high ground with godly people. He's about to put you in the right network with the right people. He's about to put you in the room with people that pray for you and not talk about you. Come on now. He's about to put you in the room and surround you with people that pray for you and not judge you and not talk about you. Okay? Your audience is getting ready to be different. Some of those friends, they can't go with you. Mm -mm, not on this one. They got to sit this one out. For far too long, you've been carrying others before yourself. Mm -mm, God said they got to sit this one out. They got to watch from a distance. They can't, they can't enjoy this. Okay? This is a blessing that God has for you and you only. Okay? It's a lot of people that's going to have to sit this one out. They can't come with you. They can't hold their hands out. They can't ask no more, okay? God says, no, the time is up. No more taking advantage. He says, no more taking advantage. No more misusing and abusing. No more giving your riches to those people that would trample over your pearls. That's what I'm hearing, like, no. No more wasting your resources on people that are not of value, okay? From rags to riches, I'm hearing it, I'm seeing it, that house, that promotion, that successful business, that successful ministry, that successful marriage, your happiness, that white picket fence, I see it. The big five bedroom, three and a half bath, sitting on acres, I see it. From the pit to the palace, okay? Be careful who you let in to your peace. Be careful who you let in on your blessings. Consult with God first. Everybody can't go with you on this time, this go-round. They all been tagging along for free far too long. 
Nope. God is getting ready to empty that ship and he may even possibly allow it to sink just to get rid of the people that's on the ship so he can take you and isolate you and take you where you're going next because your calling is of value and of greatness, okay? And everybody can't go. They can't witness this, okay? He's clearing the snakes out. He's clearing the people out that love you, say they love you, but they fake support you and they poking holes in your boat causing it to sink. He's clearing those people out. They can't go with you from the pit to the palace, okay? God is doing something miraculous in your life. So even though it feels like you at a standstill and that you stuck and that God is not answering your prayers, be still and know that he is God. Wait just a little while longer. Remain steadfast and pray without ceasing. I promise you, he's coming to bring you out. This is your season. He's making you see all of these things so when you get to the palace, you won't have to endure these things again, okay, and come up against these things again, okay? Trust God, my brothers and sisters. Get ready because this is a season of transformation, Shaking up transformation and elevation. I'm hearing three levels to this. He's tearing it down to build it back up, y'all. Okay? That move, that vision that he gave you for the move. <laughs> it's coming. Continue to pray and put God first, my good people. And Lord, I'm going to ask that you cover every person that watches this video, Lord, and grant them the desires of their heart that they, that they, and, and let their plans align with your will, O oh God, and let them follow you, Lord. And I ask that you do exceedingly and abundantly things in their life, Lord. Continue to transform and elevate them, bring them from the pit to the palace. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Have a good day, my people.